My name's Dave, the owner of VPM Autobody. We're a garage that specialises in doing a lot of classic car restoration as well as a lot of the custom cars. So a project we've recently been working on is a VW Golf R32. Um, it originally came to us with accident damage. The customer then wanted to go for a full custom colour change. We went through stages of removing the door mouldings. We welded flush all the holes in them and on the rear quarter panels, as well as cutting and extending those front arches around about 25 mil. So when the car airs out, it sits as it does now. After we've done all the filler work and levelling to the car, we go through the high build primer process, which is you put this primer on so you can then block to shape all over that filler so you can get the panels nice and smooth. We then get it in the booth to mask it up ready for its final stages of paint, which is then a wet and wet epoxy primer, which we put on that's an anti-corrosion and protection. It then also gives us a nice fresh base to put that new colour on. We then get onto the exciting stages of applying the new colour. So the client for this is picked Porsche Oak Green, which is a dark green metallic. Once the paint is mixed up, we then go through and put three coats of the colour on, followed by a drop coat. This just helps remove any patchiness or stripes in the vehicle. We find that three coats, three or five coats of lacquer is what we tend to go for. That gives you plenty of material to then flatten polish back to get that sort of ultimate shine that we look for in our jobs. So, after the paint process, we move on to what's called flattening and polishing. This is the process to remove all the orange peel from the paint job you've just done. We are going to be using a 1500 grit by DA, followed by a 3000 and then polish it up from there. This is a process we find so important because it gives that overall finish so much more depth. Refitting all that loose trim is one of the most rewarding bits because it really sets off that overall appearance of the vehicle. The client's also gone for some little finesse touches on the inside. We've colour coded the backs of his seats as well as repainted his air tank and airbrushing on our logo. 